Bye. Oh. It's bad marriage for life. As he's over here texting. Oh, we're on. What are you texting? Yes. I'm who you te- who you texting? I'm who you texting? <laughs> what are you handling? Who you texting? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> Remember those fights we used to get into? Yes. Who you texting? Who you texting? When you had, when you back to when you had two way pages mm. and stuff like that. Oh my god! Always going through my two way and stuff. Yes. I never went for your two way. I don't even know what the what you're oh, talking about. The two way, the big pages. People remember the two way pages. The big thing with the flipping used to be in the club, like beam me. And stuff the, the um, yeah, Baby, give, that sounds sexual. give the information or whatever. And stuff, you, know, you didn't have a two way, I had a two way. Craig, Craig, I don't know if you're on him. Craig had a two way, and stuff. you know what I'm talking about. Hi, everybody. I'm Jenny Boom Boom, and this is Bad Marriage for Life. We're already arguing. Uh, that it's, wasn't even an argument. No, we, we're not really arguing, it's just aggressively talking. Oh, by the way, the kids said you were hot boxing earlier. Is that true? I don't even know what that means. Supposedly, it means that you're like you go in the shed and you're hot boxing. I don't even know what that means. I, don't, I have no idea what's going on. You don't know what hot boxing means? No, and I really don't want to know. I'm okay. Sorry, at all. I'm sorry. You know what all it means. All I know is I'm here. And, uh, yes. Yes. We're episode, here. This is episode two. Episode two. Hi, Sherry239. Um, we are here. And um, it's going to probably start raining soon, but we're going we're gonna to stick this one out. It's okay. Yes. We're good. We're ready to go. Yes, unless, unless thunder and lightning starts coming. And then I'll throw you directly into the lightning. Yes, into the lightning. And then I'll probably I will, turn into a superhero. I, I will collect. No, you will die and I will collect your life insurance. No, I'll probably turn into a superhero and I'll come back and shock the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> shock the shit out of me. That's not, that'll be my superpower. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, me and Vic are going to be over at the, um, well, oh, he's just. Electric ta- thunder. He's just taking me. <laughs> Hi, Luke. How are you? He's just taking me. Um, we're going to go over to Michael's Jewelers tomorrow uh, I, in Canton. They're having a Say Yes event. So I'm going to go and try on all the engagement rings I never got. Yes, we're going to go say yes to Michael's Jewelers and stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that's happening yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. They're having a big Say Yes event tomorrow at Michael's Jewelers. Mm. Um, and I'm going to go to the Canton one. I'll be there at noon and I'll be on my IG live. So make sure and tune in or just try to stop by, especially if you want to get engaged. This is the best time. 10% off everything in the store except Pandora. They got really great... Um, Really great deals going on tomorrow at Michael's Jewelers. Yes, yeah. and don't forget your mask. And bring your yeah. mask. Everybody's yes. got to wear a mask in the store. So. Yes, and your hand sanitizer. And your hand sanitizer. Yes, yeah. bring mm-hmm. it all with you. So we, we have an update from last week. I just want to let you know um, it happened. What happened? <laughs> it <laughs> happened. What are you talking about? It. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it happened. It, happened. it did happen and stuff like that. You know, I had to shut things down a little early and stuff. You know, and she she got in her window. I think it was the High Town. No, it was the window. it was the High Town. We were watching High Town. Okay, so like we a big Chicago Fire fans and Gabby Dawson's like the star of High Town. And well, on this show, she's like super duper lesbian. There's a lot of lesbianism going on. So I think he got there. Get what I'm saying? But it was good. I mean, yeah. Well, it was a great show. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, but I'm saying, you know. But, I mean, but if, that's it had been, got, if that's what got it for you, then I got it for you. All right. I'm, so that yeah. happened, it, it's like, it's been since April. Whatever with the so road. So July. Whatever road you took to get there, mm-hmm. you know, that's a great road. I took a different road. I'm always ready. You just had me during the window. And stuff, you know. You're always ready. Yes. I'm always ready. You're always ready. I'm always ready. You're ready to go. Always. Always ready to go. Always ready to go. And so, that's it. You know what I mean? Within my window. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so, so we're within the window. And so, yeah. so things happen. Yeah. And so, you yeah. know, you know, lo and behold. You but it know. took a lot. It kind of took a little. I mean, for me, it, t- it took me a little while to get warmed up. Not going to lie. All right. Well, you know. And so, because you know, it's not, you know, always... I just because I just want to make it clear that I am a grown woman. And I, you know, it's not like. Um, yeah. Well, you know, sometimes. Pull your pants off and let's go. Like, you know, it's kind of more like I need. There's a little, a little warming up. Yes, you gotta get warmed up. A tiny so, bit, a tiny bit. Yes, a warming up is good. Shout out to High Town. This so High Town was your warmer. And so there you go. <laughs> Larry Alexander said, "Yes, we're always ready. Are you? Are you? Always ready?" That's a. Oh, Sherry two three nine said, "Men are never ready." Hmm. I don't know, Sherry. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But listen, I was fine, and you know I enjoyed. Myself. No, and yeah, it was. And I'm know. hoping you enjoyed yourself. Did you enjoy yourself? 
Um, I felt like it was a, a step in the right direction. It was a step in the right direction. We're work in progress. But, then, but then the next day, you were like, <laughs> you're waiting for me to say something. And I could see it in your face. <laughs> so, like, we woke up. And um, he's just looking at me. And I'm like... I'm um, acting like nothing happens. And he's like, Oh my God, she was looking at me like I just took a virginity. So, <laughs> <laughs> Laugh, Jenny. I wish I was a virgin. Oh God. Anyway. Yeah. All right. So no. Okay. So, yeah. um, no. So he's looking at me. He's waiting for me to like praise him. Like, am I supposed no, to, I think you am I supposed my, to make a poster? No, like a I, thank you? No, like, what do you want? No, nah, I think you read that wrong. That wasn't like a praise me situation and stuff like that. First of all, that was, you know, uh, thank, again, thank God we woke up and shit, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and, you know, type of look or whatever. No, that was, uh, oh my God, oh my God. Do you remember what happened last night? Remember? No, yeah. said, no, that was the initial, the initial look was, thank God we woke up. Right. And then after that, the thought set in, like, oh my God, yes. It and happened. So, it happened. And so, like, that. <laughs> the crazy thing is about this situation is he was so, okay, so we're sitting there watching the TV, and then he's like, Max is sleeping, I think he's sleeping, I don't hear him, <laughs> he's like, talking. He's not playing his game. And I'm like, all right, but, you know, Sasha's still walking around, he's like, you know what, I don't care. <laughs> And he got up and shut the door and locked it. <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess this is what we're going to do now. As soon as we got in motion, here she come walking out the damn door to go to the I bathroom. know, as soon as we started. <laughs> and then she closes the door, so <laughs> she closes like... She makes a lot of noise. Oh, my God, purposely. <laughs> purposely. Well, we got through. And so, no, and we, got, was, we got through. And it was a beautiful thing. But it was a lot of store slamming. Not as much as before. There's been times when, you know, you've had to, like... I have screams <laughs> at the kids during the middle of it. Like, I hate you. Because they're. Ru I feel like you guys are ruining everything for me. Can I just live? I've, I've tried to have conversations with my kids, like, the next day. Sasha is on here. Like, I didn't even sleep in the door. Go away, Sasha. But basically, she, she I... Right there with it. Yeah, she's right there. Right there, right there, always right there. Uh, but you know, yeah, you know, yeah, absolutely. But I've tried to have conversations with my kids, like especially my older kids. Like the next day, like yo, can I can I live? You know what I'm saying? So listen. Yeah. It was a great thing. Yeah, it worked out. Everything worked out well. And so, there was no making out. You know. Sometimes the making out is oh, a little man. too much. Sometimes the making out is a little bit too much. Sometimes it's needed. No, you always want to make out. He wants to make out so much. And the making out initially is pretty okay, but after a while, it's a lot of making out. Like, a lot. You know, that's because I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> get into my groove. And so, <laughs> that's part of your groove? <laughs> yeah. Making yeah. out? Is that, yes. Is that, you know? That's it. What's the, you know, sometimes, oh, especially if we could put on some music and stuff. Yeah. Oh, some Anthony Hamilton. Oh, yeah. shit. Well, that's never going to happen. <laughs> you try to get into music, but the next thing you know, you're like, fuck it, what's on the TV? You should turn that No, up. we turn the TV turn up so up. the kids don't know. So, like, we're watching CNN and, like, Anderson Cooper's voice is blasting while I'm having sex. Uh, uh, well, the kids is walking by like, damn, mom Mad. Dad, they, they're really interested in buying a juicer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so they're, really, they're really interested in buying this and stuff. They're watching all these channels. Fancy Davis said, I'm over the making out phase. I know. Yeah. Mm. I mean, sometimes it's nice, but then it gets to be a little... The making out is... It's a commitment. So wait, let me ask you a question. What? Jenny. Okay. Oh, and the crazy thing is, can I tell you, like, so yesterday I'm in the pool and Sasha's talking to me. And she's like, you and dad seem like you've been getting along pretty good lately. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, I know you've been complaining about a, a lot about making out, and it doesn't seem like you've been <laughs> doing that as much. And then she goes, dad always has food on his lips. <laughs> and I was dying laughing. Yeah, that's it. Because sometimes I have to tell you, you yeah, know. Yeah, sometimes you got to tell me, just like I got to tell you. No, it's you oh, and yeah. Ma Max are addicted to blue cheese dressing. They have blue cheese on everything, so they always have blue, blue cheese all over like their face. Blue cheese is like one of the greatest things I've ever invented in life. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you know, it's addictive and stuff. Mm -hmm. it, it really is and stuff, you know. You can put it on anything. 
Exactly. Now they you put know? it on everything. Some people like ranch. I'm not a ranch person. And stuff, you know, chipotle ranch. Yeah, I fuck with that. Okay. Like, oh, excuse me. Can I curse? Well, I mean, I guess a little bit. To okay. Not, you All know, right. not, to a certain extent, I feel. Okay. All you right. Cool. Every second, you don't need to. All right, cool. You know? All right, I'll try. I'll try. Space out the curses. This <laughs> <laughs> like in my head. It's in the back every of my ten, head. Every 10 minutes, okay. you can curse. I'm going to like say, I'm going to be like, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> Fuck. One, two, three, four, All right, five, stop. <laughs> That's it. Damn. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? Blue cheese? Yeah, I think <laughs> your favorite subject <laughs> is blue cheese. Uh, yeah, we're talking about yeah. blue cheese. Blue cheese is the, is the greatest thing ever, um, ever invented. One of the greatest things ever invented. So, you know, like when me and Vic, because like, yeah, I would always do a lot of call, a lot of clubs and stuff. Oh, Donnell Rollings. Hi, how are you? Um, I would always be on, a, you know, a lot of clubs and the weekends and stuff. We knew we'd have to come home to the kids or whatever. We would always go to the, um, like, a bus stop or... Well, listen... Like, behind a hotel you know, and try to bang it out in the van. <laughs> we still had the van. Yeah, I mean, you know, that was a long time ago. And stuff, you know. Um, you know, we used to do that and stuff, you know. But that was, you know... Right. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And stuff. Yeah, but, um, that was something that we used to be, like, that was our thing. Yes. Oh, okay, so now I know. I remember now. Yeah. Oh, we're still talking about blue cheese. Yeah, no, fuck the blue cheese. Okay, stuff like that. <laughs> we're okay. moving on. Oh, wait, that, I spaced. That was enough time on the curse. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, got good. it, got it. And right, so, um, so I was going to ask you a question. So, what was like if you remember? Since we were talking about kissing, do you remember what was your first kiss? Oh yeah, David Murdoch. David Murdoch. Mm-hmm. And so, what grade? What, what grade was that? Probably fourth grade, fifth grade. Fourth I was grade. getting it in. No, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hoe. <laughs> I'm a born hoe. Ah, hey, you try to remember those little innocent times or whatever stuff, but things was, but things were so so innocent. I think my um my my first crush, my 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 first crush and stuff like that, and um her mother, and my mother, best friend to this day was um Tisha. And okay. Stuff. Right. Uh, yes. And stuff, right. So and I remember and stuff. You know when we were, I probably was maybe about like five or six too. Also, and stuff, you know. So. Yes. <laughs> you in the garden making out? It was a kiss. That was it. Yeah. It, it was. It was. You know. It was innocent. It was Wait, sweet. who was, was the first person you ever had sex with? It did. Well, I don't even want to get into all of that. That's it. You know. What I'm Mine is Brad McGinnis. Brad McGinnis and stuff. Shout out to Brad McGinnis. But, oh God, people are looking at Brad McGinnis right now. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like that. He's Brad. on IG. Oh my God, Brad McGinnis probably went up for murder. Brad no, he's <laughs> not. He's, no, he's like a nice guy. <laughs> Oh shit, we found out Jimmy's first kiss was a sister. No. <laughs> Nothing like that. Nothing that. like that at all. You know, man. All right, uh I wanted to talk about um you know, we had an issue this week. This has been a this has been an ongoing fight between us and what's the fight? The laying around. I'm being honest with you, it's not a fight for me. Oh, it might be a fight for you. I really don't really pay attention to it. To be we honest. did. We talked about this last week, but it's kind of like honestly, it's really kind of um. Anno- I mean, I understand you work at, during the day, early in the day, and stuff. But sometimes when I'm leaving for work, you're like watching TV. And? Well, sometimes it's a little um. But well, that sounds like something that you're really gonna have to deal with. When you go on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm like jealous. I don't know what it yeah, is. I mean, it sounds like jealousy to me, to be honest with you. If you're basing it on everything that I do, again and yeah. stuff, you know. So, you know, and not to get into that and stuff, you know, my schedule is different from yours. Right, stuff, right, yeah. Know? So again, I'm early. You, you get up. I, you get up late. But you and notice stuff. that sometimes, like when you're do- laying there, I kind of like. Yeah, I noticed today you was trying to say something. <laughs> I was lying on the couch when she left for work earlier. And stuff. Like I said, I had my computer. He's addicted right now to. Um, but wait a minute. What is hold it on, called? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How to get away with murder. How to get away with, yes. Yo, he's he can't he can't get enough of it. I never watched it when it was on. Um, it's driving me nuts. I never watched it when it's on ABC. So now all six seasons is on that. My man D put me up on it. Yeah. And stuff, you know. So now all six seasons are on Netflix, and that shit is good. Okay, <laughs> good. But he's like addicted to it. <laughs> He's like watches it every second. It drives me nuts. Right. Well, wait a minute. But while I'm watching it, what do I have in front of me? Two computers. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Yes. So I'm multitasking and stuff. You know what I mean? Again. All right. What did I do this morning? I, d- I don't remember. Tell me what I did this morning. Oh, you went over there and, pl- and tinkered no. with that stupid grill. See, that's not all I did this all morning. All he does is no. he's messing with a stupid grill. So, listen. That's, that's... Ever since somebody on here said that he's not a real grillsman because he didn't. 
<laughs> he has a gas grill. So he got the new gas gas grill, and then he now is taking the old gas grill. He's taking it apart to put charcoal in it because somebody called him out on here. I can convert That's it. That's psycho. <laughs> it's not psycho. I'm going to convert it. Why do we need two grills? You have a grill right I, there, a brand new grill. Because I want the option. What's the option? Like? If I want to go charcoal and mesquite, I want to go charcoal and mesquite. So what? If what? I feel like going over, it's my option. It's my choice. Okay, so wait. Give me a charcoal a charcoal mesquite uh, scenario. Like, why do we need the charcoal mesquite at that time if we have the, the gas grill right there? The scenario is I might wake up one day and say, you know what? I'm in the mood for some um, steak on a charcoal mesquite grill. <laughs> And I decide I'm going to go out there and make it because I have it and I can do it. Okay. That's the scenario. Uh-huh. <laughs> what else you going to do? So, anyway, now, yeah. So, so anyway, Doc, back to what I was Wait, doing. hold on. So, Doc Carter said you need a smoker and gas for quick burgers and hit, and hot dogs. Okay. So, I said so to you him. You understand. See? No. So, I Options. said, no. I said, okay, let's go get a smoker grill then. Because every time we have, like, had food, like, in front of Vibes Uptown or wherever, like, folks will have the smoker grill. I just, I love it. So, he was like. No, well, I'm just going to convert. He's taking a grill apart in my yard right now. I look like I'm on the show Sanford and Son, okay, because it's in my backyard. And he's like, he's, he's like out there painting it this morning. All right, so listen, first of all, I'm not, first of all, I think you over exaggerating the situation here. And stuff, and it's only been here for about a week and a half. All right. And it's a work in progress. The frame is in great condition. <laughs> I cleaned it out. I gutted it. You've had it for I 13 watched it years. On, I, wa- I had the grill for 13. I got a lot of emotional attachment to it. Absolutely. I can't let it go. I, I can't deny that. And stuff, you know what I mean? So, if I could keep it around, it converted. I'm not converting charcoal to gas. If I was trying to do that, then I, you know. You blew you know, the house up. Yeah, we're not doing that. And stuff. I'm gut- I gutted it. And I cleaned it out. And I repainted it over. And I'm going, I, I watched it on YouTube. It's like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of videos on YouTube. Huh. A whole lot. And stuff, and I found it. So I'm going to do it. So anyway, she's going to talk that shit now. But I bet you after I make the first burger on that motherfucker, she's going to be, mm, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what you put on it? Oh, yeah. She always may ask what you put on it. Like yesterday, I made some oxtails. Yeah, she made oxtails. Yeah, okay. really good. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you. That was it's the- his first time. I didn't think they'd be good, but they were good. Yeah, that was the first time I ever made it. And yeah. stuff, you know what I mean? So, you know, let's not get it twisted. You know, I can cook. And no, so, you can cook. Absolutely. I was raised by women. But that's part of the reason why I stay with you. Yes. I was, listen. <laughs> I was, you can cook. Listen, I was raised I was raised by women. I was raised in the Bronx during the crack era. Oh, my God. You're not allowed <laughs> yeah, to say right. that anymore. I, I was raised in the You weren't allowed. My aunt and my um, three cousins and stuff, you know what I mean? Um, I was the youngest, always in the same house, you know? So, and the time I used to spend my summers in Fort Lauderdale, Florida with my, my mother's other sister. So, I was raised by women and stuff, you know? Hello. Was, oh, Hi, Bella. Some, oh, Bella, sorry, we had to cut him off. We had to cut me off. We had to, we had to. <laughs> Bella, I don't know, I don't know if you remember me, but I'm the Bella from the JI FaceTime call. I remember you, darling. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I like your eye makeup. Is that like a new thing you're doing now? Eyelashes. Oh, eyelashes. Okay, very nice. Did you put them on yourself or you go get them professionally done? I put them on myself. Yeah, that's hard. It was. I learned. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it is, it's a hard thing to do. It, I mean, I've, I've had to do it when I was like out in LA. I remember like everybody's waiting for me to head to the Grammys. It's because I'm putting stupid eyelashes on. I should have just been like, you know, whatever, because I'm not talented that way. But yours look great. Thank you. Yes, I look beautiful. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. you know, I love it. By the way, so cute. Okay, so this is the Candy Burris lipstick that was so sent cute. to me, and I love it. Oh. It looks good. I love on you. It looks great. Yeah. Yes. So I don't know what no. y'all talking about exactly, to be honest with you, but but everything looks beautiful. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a psycho. Yeah. So anyway, Bella, what what's going on? What can I do for you? Nothing. You just want to chime in? Yes, I just wanted to say hi. See if you remembered me. Are you excited about this mesquite grill? Yes. Okay, so Bella, at one point we'll have you over for this big mesquite festival that we're going to be having at our house with this second grill the that mesquite we don't need. Festival, made. yes. Oh, is that your sister? Yes, it is. Oh, she's so cute. Hi. 
with you. Say hi. You're so cute. Oh it'll my be, God. It'll, it'll, be a, it'll be a virtual mesquite uh, festival. Yeah, and so the pandemic's over. On the uh, on the first on the first breaking out of the grill and stuff, we're gonna do it. And so I'll, I'll break it out on Thursday at seven p.m. Okay, so that's it when it's done. <laughs> okay, and so that's it. Dude, I'm telling with your Bella, right? You see, that's it. <laughs> Could we talk about Jen's EP really quick? Okay, I'm, she's in love. I'm, with you. I'm in love. <laughs> I'm okay. you, he's gonna be my husband one day. Just watch. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, I look forward to I'm wedding. glad that you love J.I. because he's a really beautiful person and I like him so much and I love his music, so. After that, like, after that call, like, my, after he talks, like, my, how I see, like, saw some things really changed. Like, he's just a humble person and I just really love him and I'm obsessed <laughs> with him. Good. Where are you going? The dog is looking at something. Oh, he's walking away. <laughs> no, but yeah. I listen. All the real talk is getting me down. <laughs> I listen. Yeah, yeah. Again, uh, we'll make sure to get you involved. Okay. Oh my God, yes. Let me know. Okay, darling. Well, you have a great night. Okay. You too. Bye. I really love his eyelashes. They're great. Thank you. So cute. Love it. I don't know. He's on attack. He heard. Oh. <sighs> I don't know what you said. Mom, you're breaking up. Okay. Well, thank you, Sash. All right. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate it. But to me, it looks like it's working, but... All right, Sasha's... Always right there. Well, there you go. She could be the technical advisor. <laughs> the technical advisor in this whole situation. Yes, there yeah. we go. We got a charger. I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's charging. Yeah. Yeah, it's charging. That's we awesome. Get... All right, let's talk to Ab Abdul really quick, because Abdul yeah, is always uh, down here, and I love it. Take a caller. A caller? Oh, whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, I have to talk about the other thing that's going on. Hi, Yes. The whole time is going on. Yeah. Snoop Dogg. Yeah, he was playing DMX and, 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 and Snoop Dogg. Yeah. yeah, you it's just did the battle, Friday, just so the battle last night? It's 2 a.m., right, Jenny? I'm sorry? We're making it 5 p.m. through 2 a.m. tomorrow with live DJs. Right, yes, we do. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday, so the play is at 3 with DJ Michi. So Jenny, I got some music for you. How about a music? Watch this. Is a music from Ghetto Boys. Take a look. Okay, what song from Ghetto Boys? Ghetto Boys. Ghetto Boys. Nice nice playing tricks on me. Ghetto Boys. Playing tricks on me. But God been sweet. I toss a turn. Camel six. <laughs> Jenny Bobo TV's in the building. Abdul, have you ever seen this video? Yeah, that's right. I love this part. I wanted to caution. It's ice cute. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put some video. caution joint. Watch this. Are you ready? Show all that. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to go, Abdul. See you later, okay? We're, we're going, Jenny. So tomorrow's Friday, right, Jenny? <laughs> Yeah, wait, I Abdul. Type on Instagram, Jenny. Wait, hold on, because... Abdul. Wait a minute. Did you see Snoop and DMX last night? Yeah, the Snoop Dogg and like Radio Ruddy. Yeah, what'd you Vic? think? Yeah, Vic is in the building. Okay. All right, All right well, listen. <laughs> see you so, later, Jenny. All right, listen. I post on 357 posters, okay. Jenny. Bye. All right. Bye, Jenny. See you later. I post them on Instagram. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. So back to the ox chips. Yeah. No. Um. So I think you might have to turn the music down. Oh. Because the reason being is I think that um because you know Instagram's really sensitive about music playing, and it might be able to sense it even though it's not loud. Like even when we make videos in the studio, we have to keep all the all music right. down. There you go. It's off. I didn't really need the whole explanation. Oh. So, excuse all me. You, all you had to do was tell me to turn it down. <laughs> do you know that every time that you snap at me or we fight, I want to break up with you every time. <laughs> That wasn't a snap. And I don't even think that yeah. there's like an in between for me. It's like no. either we're going to be happily ever after and happy or we're not. No, that's not even a snap. It's just that I am wrecked. It's just I don't need as much information. 
this stuff, you know what I'm saying? All I did to do was like, hey, was, hey, can you turn the music off? Mm -hmm. and, and that was it. This yeah. Stuff, you know what I mean? Okay. Everything else is, I don't, is you know, irrelevant. Yeah. So anyway, um, Back to the oxtail. if you're just joining us, for, you know, for the first time, uh, on the, we're doing this on Thursday nights. Um, and I, you know, I kind of thought that probably people just knew what it was, but maybe they don't, but because of last week, but you know, let's revisit. So the reason why we're doing this on Thursdays is because, um, after seeing Will and Jada, uh, have their exchange and call their marriage, a bad marriage, uh, we know we have a very bad marriage. And so therefore, um, she thinks we have a bad marriage. <laughs> therefore. I I'm fine. Therefore, uh, we thought that maybe we should sit and talk about some of the things that, um, you know, people don't talk about. She thought that we should sit and talk. About because on, and I said, on okay. IG, because on IG, everybody always looks like they're super happy and people are fronting like on Facebook and everybody's acting like, oh, yeah, everything's so perfect or whatever. But like a lot of relationships, people just aren't happy. They're just not. And, and, and. Can you stop talking? No, I'm right behind you. Oh, we gosh, are, she got serious. Look at it. It got serious. We're Wait not. We're, we're not, not going serious. We're not. We're <laughs> not. We're not. He's driving me crazy. So that's where we're at. And we've been together 18 years, but we're not married. But we are together. And we consider ourselves in a marriage because we live together. And we raise children together. And, uh, you know, a lot of information. we're always there for each other. We're always there for each other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so we decided after she decided, excuse me, and she asked me to do this. Or no, and I think it's really good for a relationship. Well, I don't know about that. Why? You don't think this is a good thing for us? I'm going to be honest with you. I just came over here to have some fun and stuff, you know what I mean, and, and, and laugh a little bit. Yeah. Because we're in the middle of a pandemic. Right, yeah. Right, and I'm in the laughing. So all that other, listen, I'm not All right, here. so Premium 21 said, how do you keep the spark after so long? Okay, so. Premium, see? I have no idea. A match. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. What kind of deep ass question is that? I don't. Do well, I think that's a good question. How do you keep the spark after so long? Eighteen years together. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, how do we keep the spark? I don't know. How do you keep the spark, Jenny? What is, what, what no, I mean, how do, do what the, the question is is how do we keep the spark? Like, how do we still like each other? How do we still like each other after eighteen years? Like, why do we like each other? Well, I'm going to just be honest with well, you. Well, tell me what you like most about me. Oh, my God. She went with that question. Look at that. Oh, my God. She went forward. And, tell me. No. Like tell, me like, like, tell me what you like Tell me three great qualities about me. Tell me three great qualities. All right. Listen. I know. Listen. What's the first thing you know? the first thing you about me. Let me wait. Before I even get into that, let me tell you something. Jenny is great at her job. And stuff like that. She. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I'm a biggest fan. Oh, and, thanks. Yes. Absolutely. She's great at her job. But listen. Don't bring the job here. Up, right? Jam Queen <laughs> said, do you want to get married, Jenny? Maybe one day. We're going to go to the Say Yes event tomorrow at Michael's Jewelers, me and Vic, and we're going to try on engagement rings. Everything's 10% off. Yes. Everything's 10% off in the store except for Pandora tomorrow. We're going to be in the Canton store starting at noon tomorrow. Yes. So make sure and uh, come by or just tune in because we're going to try on rings. Yes, try on rings. Bring, yes, bring, bring whoever you want to bring. Come on down. Let's try out engagement rings. That'd be ring, fun. Put a ring on it and whatever. So Good come stuff. look at a ring. That's a plan that's a, all right, so getting on. back to okay, first time you met me, we met at the jungle in Windsor. Yes, okay, oh, that's where we met because he was there with Craig and I was there hosting. It was my first club I did in Connecticut because before this I was in Rhode Island on the radio. Yes. So my first club, rest in peace in London. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So we so we met and I remember sitting down on the couch next to you, and you were like, um, you were trying to be funny. You're like, will you marry me? Yes, I was being. That's the last time you ever said that. That's all right, anyway, yes. all right. So what when you met me the first time, what was what stood out about me to you that you were like, yeah, I want to do her? Well, let me ask you a question. No, no, no. Just answer the question. Don't ask me a question. Tell me no, but what I'm, was the one no. thing that you when you saw me that you when we were talking to each other that you were like interested in me? First of all, I wouldn't use that like what made me want to do her. First of all, I don't talk like that. <laughs> I'm okay, a, but he I'm called a, me after that, like two okay, weeks later, like, right. "Yo, you want to get together?" And I and I held out. I held uh, out for a really long time. Yeah, first of all, your imitation of me right now is very off. <laughs> just, I don't talk like. Okay, that. I, I I'm I not even saying what you said. Wait a minute, you when you called me, you were drunk and said some things he wanted to do to me. First of all, you called. And I was like, ew. First of all, you talking about a long time ago, and do I remember everything? I was like, ew, but I'm thinking about it. 
Do I remember every single situation? Absolutely not. A lot of has happened over the years and stuff like that. Okay. But, I know, but what I do know for a fact, and don't cut me off, please. Oh, and wow. Like and, that, and the pointing? There was yeah, pointing. No, like that. Well, what I do know for a fact, though, and stuff like that, mm. is um, that. Yeah. Okay. 18 years ago, or whatever, and stuff, I saw you. No, uh, that was 19 years ago. I held out. Years, excuse me. And so, I, I held out to my I said, I saw situation. You. I saw you. Yeah. All right. And. I was intrigued. Well, we, what, what intrigued you about me? I, you was cool. Right? Yeah, you were cool. Like, but physically, first of all, I'm saying physically. physically. I'm going to be honest you, it wasn't a physical situation. You're beautiful. You're a beautiful person. No, okay. Yes, what do you like but, most about yeah, my body? Everything. No. Yes. You always say the one thing. Tell tell me what tell I me like the your one hips. thing. I like your it breasts. likes my hips. Yes. And stuff. You know, likes my you hips. Like your <laughs> hips or whatever and stuff. You know? He always talks about That's that. To the, everyone, anyone that asks, he's like, oh, her hips. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. You go for holding. <laughs> my humps. <laughs> Which is all you did the other night. That's it. So, Treat me like a two dollar hole out here. That's it. But um, yeah. So. So what was the th what was the thing that intrigued no, about me? Um, it? well, you gave me a bag of weed. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't remember anything like that. <laughs> I would never do that. That's against the law. That's Especially a back then. <laughs> <laughs> so Can you stop heavily drinking? Yeah, I'm drinking alcohol. Alcohol is legal. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So okay, so that was um. We met and he did that, and then he asked me to marry him. But we were just friends. Yeah, but again, we raised a lot of kids together. We yeah, that has nothing to do with what we're talking yes. about. Yes, you know what I mean. We uh, did give a lot me of three. Things. Give yeah. me one good quality besides physical that you like about me. I like that you stand up for yourself. Really? Yeah, I do. You know what I mean. You're very strong, and that's a great thing. Mm. Again, like I say, I was raised by women. I was raised by three strong women, so I recognize the strong women. <sighs> Happening here. Oh, maybe maybe the web. Sure. Yeah. Like that. Maybe they might blocking the, might be blocking us out. You know, so I don't even know how many people are watching too, because you know the, the Yankees play tonight. <laughs> 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 The game started at seven oh eight. So that's a problem. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know. It's not like that. We might not have as much of the tenants or whatever and stuff. You know, so that's it. Oh, okay, it's seven thirty nine. Hi, Jack. Though. Yes. Okay, so tell me one good quality besides physical. I just told you. Oh yeah, I stand up for myself. Yeah, you're a strong. You're a strong one and you're beautiful. And stuff, you know, and yeah, you know, I like your emotion. Also. Do you remember the so, first time we ever did it? Yeah, I remember. You're at the hotel in Rocky Hill. I remember. Yeah, the diner. I don't need to tell everybody else. You know, I remember. It's in my head and stuff, you know. But, do you, you remember know, it? Yes, I do remember. And stuff like that. No need for me to, like, you know, everybody else ain't got their number. They wasn't there. <laughs> 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 though, if everybody, though, if everybody was there, I would have gotten a lot of applause. No? Yes, you would have gotten a round of applause. Yeah. Standing ovation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me a sign. All right, so you want me to tell you? <laughs> what? Tell me what? But the, the stuff I like about you? Tell me everything you like about me. Okay, physically. <laughs> She's going to be like nothing. She's going to like physically nothing. <laughs> no, um, physically, you're, I really like your teeth. She likes my teeth. <laughs> Now, every time I talk on this shit, people are going to be looking all up in my mouth. Oh, God. I like it. your teeth. No, I like your I'm teeth. I'm probably going to get a meme on my I teeth. like your teeth, and I, I like, like your teeth. eyes. like my eyes. Okay, yeah, I do have sexy eyes. My eyes have always been my thing. Really? <laughs> yeah. We tell you show me. Yeah, that was my thing. You got to give a look. Thing. You got to give a look. Man, I can't do it right now. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to break up any happy homes out there. Now, show me. What? Oh, what? my God. At first time, I, when I started, um, I started, like, messing with him, he told me he could sing. I thought I could. He's an awful singer. Absolutely. No. I'm, wait a minute. In the shower, I'm Grammy nominated. Okay? okay. Wait, I'm hold on, Grammy, hold on. Wait a minute. In the shower, I'm a I want to talk about Grammy award. when we first started seeing each other. I'm a wait, oh, for, wait, okay. In the shower. First time after we had sex, I remember leaving. <laughs> I left. And he was like, yo, you leaving? 
was like, yeah, I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, I was emotionally distraught. And so, you know, that's it. She put you it seemed on. like it. Yeah, you put it on me. And so, no, you it. were like, you were kind of sad I was leaving. Yes, I, it, absolutely. And after you left, I got in the shower and I said, I was, song. but honestly, I, I, I was, I think I was singing Luther. But I was in a, so, I was in know, a relationship. A so I had to get home. Because if you're in a relationship and you, you can't, you got to get back. You know what I'm saying? You can't be out all night. <laughs> got to get back. Um, and then I ended up leaving him for her, for him, but, yeah, all right. It. All so right. then, all right. Running so then, out of Jenny's running down the entire time. I remember right one time we stayed in the hotel. Okay. So listen, all right. Cause I'm, I'm used to, I'm really kind of used to being with like, not great people. Right. So we were in the hotel. He ended up, um, paying like the front girl desk, I mean, the front girl at the desk to go get breakfast at the diner for us. And yes, I thought, I it, and he, she brought it, they brought breakfast and i thought it was just so sweet i'm a sweet person but we was like at the yeah, motel look, see i'm hugging oh <laughs> i'm so sweet motel. oh my god it's beautiful get off me <laughs> oh get linda um so yeah yeah uh, purdue uh, it's six nine six eight so nah, that's all you a, like well yeah i was younger then i mean now it'd be much different you know nah, but listen on 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 a serious note um you know yeah i do things like that <laughs> yeah, you're the greatest. No, I'm not saying I'm the greatest. No, I'm not. Absolutely. I mean that omelet. Yeah, the omelet was great. And stuff like that. <laughs> yes, it was. After a hangover too and stuff, you know, that worked. That hit the spot. One you time know? we stayed at the motel and the heat didn't work in the room. But wait a minute, no. So we no, ran no. the shower all night, hot water. <laughs> <laughs> to get some heat in the room. But wait a minute. No. Yes, that's true. But wait a minute. Then what, I got the flu because of it. Wait a minute. What was? It? Let me tell you. So what was the first time you took me back to? Um, you took me up to Rhode Island. So, oh, we seen that other really crappy motel. Oh my god, that that's motel a, was awful. She tried, to, she tried to show me where you know where she you know had lived previous. Yes, yeah, yeah. Where she lived or where she used to hang out yep. at or whatever. And stuff yeah, like right that. near Tottenham Hill. Yes, mm -hmm. and stuff, you know what I mean. Yeah. And they had the casino like right, right there. From there yep. and stuff like that. You know? But we went to that nasty yes. motel. Yes, and we whatever. took so, like, we I, took you know, I never I've been to Rhode Island before, but not that part. We took a and bunch so, of um. We took a lot of naked photos that night. We did? Yeah, I think I still have them. No. We used them in like a Kodak camera, like one of them with disposables. Oh, I might not have developed them. My daughter keeps trying to get me to develop them films. Yeah, they're no, they're in the jar. They're sitting down there with them and stuff, you know. She, it's she a, saw we them. took Nancy she pictures. Saw them down, she saw them down there, you know. Like I said, my daughter, my child, is, I love her, but she's a private investigator. She is a private investigator, yeah. <laughs> She's like, once you could develop those, I'll develop them for you. Let's get them developed. Yeah, let's see <laughs> like, what's nah. on this uh, like, nah. disposable camera from 2001. <laughs> let's see what. Uh... I like. I don't really remember. I'll get them. I'll take care of them. Okay, so <laughs> I brought him to Rhode Island to meet my family, and I went. We went yeah. to New York to go meet his mom, and his mom was mean to me. <laughs> no, nah, she so loves you too much. No, nah, she was. My mother was never mean to you. Let me talk. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's how, yeah, I'm sorry. She, yeah, she wasn't mean to you at all. All right. Like so, you know, we, um, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you remember it. That's not how I remember okay, it. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> talking about my mama. And so, like, that, like, I that. you know what I'm saying? The way, like I was saying, back to the oxtail. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I had to call my mama to, teach, to ask her how to make these oxtails because she's been making them a very right. long time. Right. And me and her get and along so, good now. Yes, absolutely. You do. And so, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> don't be talking about my mama. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you guys get along good. Really good. Your best friend. Like, you know, yeah. all that to the past. So, let's not talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Let's say. I don't say, I'm saying nothing bad about my mother. I don't say like that at all. Like that. He sounds kind of threatening when he says it like that. I don't say, my mother raised me well. Okay, like all that. right. Remember, I grew up in the Bronx doing the crack. Okay, okay. yes, you did. Okay, okay. yes. Up, all right, strong black woman or whatever stuff, you know what I'm saying, who did what she had to do and stuff, you know what I mean, and, and raised me during all of that shit mm -hmm. and stuff, you know what I mean? That's it, along with her two sisters. Okay. All right? So that's it, no, you know, no father involved and stuff mm -hmm. at all. And, and so, here comes this lady with three kids just taking her son away. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. She, I, I would say she was. She weird. was concerned. She was concerned, which mothers should be concerned. Mothers are concerned. Like, who is this stuff. girl with these yes, three kids? Absolutely. She know, but here we are. You know what I'm saying? And she you a know lot, saying? A she lot later on in life. She, yes, and she has embraced you and embraced everyone. 
and stuff. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Do I agree? Can I get an amen? Okay, amen. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid not to. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> That's it. But um, yeah. Anyway, and stuff. You know. Um, yeah. So she took me up to Rhode Island or whatever. Why are we going back to Rhode Island? Oh, I don't know. And stuff like that because we're talking about my mother. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know, so um. She uh, took me back to she yeah, she took me up to Rhode Island. That was the first time or whatever and stuff. And I got to see you know where she grew up at and how different it was from where I grew up at. And, you know, and um, yeah, it was beautiful and stuff. You know, and um, and her her story, you know, of how she became who she became uh, as far as in radio. A sex goddess. You know, not even the sex goddess thing or whatever. Stuff like that. <laughs> It's like rolling with like, okay, I guess you're a sex goddess. Yeah, and so you know, it's, yeah, you know, I mean, no, just as far as like who you who you have become, like you're very, you are very successful. You're great at your job. I you love know? it every yes, day. You know what I mean? Like I can't, like I say, I am your biggest fan mm. and stuff. You know, I mean, that's that's you know, by far, that's not how you know why I uh, you know fell in love with you right. and stuff. You know what I mean? You know, I fell in love with you for you, for who you are, for your story and stuff. You know. And um, you know the fact that you, you are great at your job also is a bo is a bonus and right. stuff, you know. But I fell in love with your your strength and stuff. Okay, I you know I fell in, I fell in love with your emotion to an extent and stuff, you know. And you know and just and just your story and stuff. And it's a beautiful story. And you know I still remember that story. And uh, you know and I and I hold on to that story. And I've held on to that story for all these years that we've been together mm -hmm. and stuff. You know, and and that's why I'm still here because uh, you know once I became part of that story, you know it, it was such it was so great. Oh, you oh know, my God, a big bug! <laughs> that's it. Sorry. So you know, so that's it or whatever. And stuff. So that's why I'm here. And stuff, you know, I mean, yeah, you are sex goddess and stuff. Like I said, you, I am. You do, yes, and stuff. You, you're great. You're great at your job there too. But you know, <laughs> we, we're trying to also work out a lot of things. Like we've been communicating a lot, which is really good. Communication. Like I think things. even doing this and just talking about things and putting other folks on with us. Like you know, last week we had a couple of couples on with us and stuff, and just talking about what we're going through, especially during this pandemic. I think that it's like a good thing that we're communicating because. Yeah, well, again, that's what you get out of it. So, and that's great. You that's don't get nothing out of this. No, I'm you get just... nothing out of this. No, I think that you're gonna I'm stay. Just, no, I'm just here to have some fun. No, laugh. because you know what? We listen, can't. Okay, on a daily. Okay, you. on a daily basis. On okay. a daily basis. No, seriously, let's talk about this because we're, this is why we're here. So, on a daily basis, I'm waking up. You're already up. You're doing whatever you're doing for work or whatever else. Okay. Then I start working, and you know, before I even go to, to work, I'm working all morning pretty much. And then I go to work, and I come back, and then you like you normally have cooked dinner, and the kids you know, or like taking up our time and we'll say, okay, you want to try to fit in a show or whatever. Like we don't really talk to each other. We don't, we don't really, and no, it feels like to you that we talk to each other, but we don't have a conversation. It's more like, oh, you're going to go pick up this one or you're going to do this or get what I'm saying. So it's kind of like nice to be able to sit and actually talk to you and, and just talk about real stuff because it's like sometimes really hard. We get lost in whatever else is going on. Oh my gosh, look at it. Yeah, so I understand that that's what you feel and stuff, you know, but that's not how I feel. Um, and I get that and I respect that. You don't and feel like, you feel like, honestly, we talk I, to each other? Absolutely. I, I feel like we have a very, uh, a lot of conversations, far more <laughs> than I really want to have, to be completely honest with you. Oh, so you don't want to talk to me? No, it's not that I don't want to talk to you, it's that I have a limited amount of time that I oh. want to talk to anybody. Yeah. And stuff like that, you know what I mean? And, you know, and not that I don't appreciate you and who you are and respect exactly what you got on your mind and, with, and what emotionally you might be going through that day and stuff. But I got emotional things that I'm going through that day also and stuff. And I got but it's good to I'm, talk about. Yeah, well, yeah, but not but based upon based upon each and everybody's individual emotional needs and making sure it fits in that time frame and stuff. You know, it has to come together and stuff. If I got if I got such and such, if I got like 20 things going on that day, you know what I'm saying? And you only got five or vice versa or whatever, you know what I mean? Who am I to try to initiate and tell you that, yeah, we have to talk now and stuff like that. That makes no sense at all and stuff, you know? Um, so again, you know, I'm, I'm here 
and stuff, you know what I mean? And we talk or whatever and stuff, you know, but, you know, we don't have to talk. We don't have to talk all the time. We get things, we get things done. But women so, are, need emotional, like, stimulation. I feel everybody's emotional stimulation. Like, how you said yes. earlier, men are always ready to go. Get what I'm saying? That's yeah, a but, physical thing for men. Women nah, are more emotional. Like, yeah, we right need now, talking. We right need, now, like, that type of stimulation. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but right now I think you're kind of all over the place and stuff. You know what I mean? I think you're like you're talking about sexual and you're talking about emotional needs and family needs. Doesn't and it, needs but about. doesn't it all go together? No, it doesn't go all go together. It absolutely does. That's a problem too, a lot of it times with you because does. you compartmentalize. You have to compartmentalize. You have to in order to get through things. Things it's so between family, work, emotional needs, sexual needs. Yes, you have it. Does, if it if it all runs together or whatever stuff like that, then things get out of order, and things get emotional, and things get distracted. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, again, I try to compartmentalize. I'm I'm thinking logically, and so like that. I don't got no time to be thinking emotionally. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Oh God, and here so, we go, pandemic, and and <laughs> and crack era were both mentioned. Yes, it's true. Uh, uh, Black Friday 247, thank you very much. Uh, who said, I've been listening to Jenny Boom Boom since 2001. She dropped Nelly. It's hot in here. My seventh grade class went nuts. <laughs> God. We thought she was black. I get that a lot. Uh, she's on the inside. Top radio personality. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, Purdue 696, they said, no, Jenny, he need to talk to you no matter what. Well, I, listen, Purdue. I mean, I don't know. Are you talking to your woman all the time or whoever you're with? I mean... I just want to keep the, I, I really want to keep, um, I really want to keep the communication flowing as much as possible because I'm afraid that if not, uh, we're going to, my mother and father never talk to each other, I feel like. But well, we talk. No, we do talk like, and we spend time like, together. Uh, like, uh, let me, uh, I, you know. <laughs> no, we do talk. <laughs> what is that? Howard? You got a big cigar. I'm here, like, yes, smoking uh, a cigar. Uh, I'm going to be on with Trinidad. And what's, hey, how are you? Hey. I'm talking about you with um, Nancy. Oh, okay. Because you know why? I want to tell people while I'm mad. And I um, often. Okay, that's awesome. I like the red lipstick. Thank you. And I like the blonde rule. Well, you know, this, I've been um, just cutting my own hair. So. Well, I lost some of it. So this is just, you know. Oh. All right, listen, I'm going to be on my live soon. I wanted to join yours and say hello. Hi. And Nancy's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I know. Okay. Good for her. All right, but you know, I want to tell them why I'm mad. Can I tell you why I'm mad today? Sure, go ahead. I miss you, and I hope to see you again in the studio. Uh, we'll see you next time, I'm sure. All right, bye, girl. All right, bye. All right. All right, so it looks like we might need to wrap this up because. Oh, yeah, uh, well, five yeah. more minutes. Yeah, it looks like five it's going to coming down. Yeah, it looks scary, right? Yeah, it, it's coming down, and I don't really want to go in the house with this. Hey, well, imagine so, we get struck by lightning on live. Why would you even want to think about something like that? I get scared. See what I'm saying? Like, why, you wanna, like, <laughs> why would you want to imagine that? <laughs> you know, that's it. Well, Stevens, how are you there, my friends? Um, yeah. So this, I mean, I th I just like this, and I think that this is a good thing. We should keep going with it. I felt so much ha happier with you this week. She felt happier with I did. me because I'm in here telling some of my business. No, not, it's, that's not why, because we're talking to each other. Because we're talking to each other. I ain't telling all my shit. So tomorrow, we're going to be at Michael's Jewelers in Canton, okay? Yes. It's, a, it's a new uh, location. Absolutely. And everything is 10% off in the store, okay? Yes. It's the Say Yes event. So if you've been thinking about possibly getting engaged, right, uh, you should head over there tomorrow to Michael's Jewelers. It's at all locations in Connecticut. So, I mean, you know, you don't have to come to the Canton one if that's far for you or whatever. But uh, mm -hmm. tomorrow, me and Vic will be there starting at 12 o'clock, the Say Yes event at Michael's Jewelers. You can come try on some rings or some beautiful jewelry. And, yes. and then Saturday, Saturday, I'm going to be over at the West Farm Small, Michael's Jewelers at the West Farm Small, starting at 11 a.m. Okay, so tomorrow's noon in Canton for the Say Yes event. And then Saturday, I'll be at 11 a.m., the Michael's Jewelers at the West Farm Small, um, because 
because they're having this huge sale and it's just going to be a really extraordinary event. Yes, and, if, and if you've been thinking about, you know, like getting engaged, I think this is the perfect time, right? 10% off. That's a good, good amount of money right there. Yes. Or if you want to just come down and get like a, a pendant or something like that, or, you know, any a type, pendant? Yeah, any type of jewelry that you feel like you might need at this time in your life, come down and take a look and stuff. They got all type of things and stuff, all type of options. That's it. <laughs> you can get you a locket. <laughs> a locket? <laughs> I ain't that put the what picture. Annie? Put the picture. Wait, did Annie? you ever have a locket when you was a kid? Yes. Who you had? Who you had? Who you had in your in your in your I don't your remember. Like I don't that. remember. You don't remember? That's all right. Who you have? Your mom? That's it. That's it. Nah, I'm the one. I had my dog. Oh. Yeah, Raheem. And so Raheem was the only, yes. And so uh, the real deal. Five one six said, "I need to put a ring on my lady." Well, tomorrow we'll be in Canton, starting at twelve o'clock at Michael's Jewelers, so you can come on down. That'll be fun. Yes, come on down, real deal. Yeah, the real deal. I like that. The real deal. Five one six. Five one six. Put a ring on his lady. Yes, yes nice. That's Long Island. That is a nice thing. Yes, you know. five one six. Do you know my ring size? Five one six. And so mm -hmm. yes, I got it written down. Where's, what that? is it? Yeah, I said I got it written down. Okay. You don't remember so, it? No, I don't remember it. I got it written down. It's safe. And so, you know my ring size? No. Okay. I'm never buying Let's, you a ring. Uh, hey, but well, still, regardless. And so, you should know. Wait I a minute. Let me ask you a question. Oh, if back in the day, if I had, um, thank you very much for, for checking us out from Long Island, New York, uh, the real deal. Uh, if yes. I had at, proposed to you years ago, would you have said yes? Would that uh, have been weird? I don't know. That was Some girls propose. Some girls do, but that was that was a long time ago, and I really don't remember exactly, you know, how I was thinking back then and stuff, you know. So how can I, you know, come out and say, yeah, this is the way I was going to be thinking if you have proposed? Mm. I don't know. It's a question, man, you know. But anyway, <laughs> so let's um, <laughs> let's wrap this up because it's getting late and it's, it's about to come down, and I know the Yankees is playing the first game, so I'm going to go watch it. And Vic cooks Just, chicken. Yes, I made chicken. Uh, you know, I got leftover oxtails from last night. I made it for the first time. You know what I'm saying? She tried to cut me off on my oxtail situation. It and was I really made, good. It was yes, good. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I made my joints for the first time. You know what I'm saying? I he let the like oxtail three, simmer for three hours. For three hours. Yeah, we had to hear all about this last night at dinner. Rice and put, you, know, bro, you know, I had to call my mother. I had my mother on the phone instructing me. Because, like I said, she's been making them a very, 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 very long time. It was my first time. No, so you did a good to, job. She had to walk me through. So, you know, I got a little bit of roasted chicken in there, whatever, too, for the night, and a little bit of leftover oxtails and some other things, some veggies or whatever. No, don't mix and mix it all I'm up. Gonna, listen, here, I'm going to do whatever. He always does do. that. All right, well, I'm not mixing anybody. He always anyway, does that. Listen, no, I he'll I make the it. chicken, and then he'll eat the oxtails. All right, well, anyway, listen, I felt like, the drizzle. Inside, no, so. it should be one uniform well, thing for, for dinner, me. unless all it's right. leftover night. All right, listen, we'll see y'all next week. Don't forget, or uh, tomorrow, Michael Jolis <laughs> in Canton, 12 p.m. All right, there you go. One. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that does it for us. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, I don't really know if we got anything solved today. Did we get anything solved? Hello? All right. Well, we didn't really get anything solved. So, <laughs> do we feel like we got anything solved today? Solved. In the relationship. I wasn't trying to solve nothing. Okay, so you're just perfectly happy? I came to laugh. I, uh, listen, again. We're not solving anything. I'm not here to give nobody no advice. <laughs> Something like that, all right? I'm just here to laugh. Y'all want to laugh, I'm here. That's it. That's it. Other than that, I'm good. All right. But have a good night. I'm going to go watch the Jay's on here. Say hi to Jay. Jay Cruz. All right. Yeah, I spoke to him earlier. Jay, what up? What's up? That's what are y'all talking about? Uh, talk about this shit. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget, tomorrow. Tomorrow, Michael's Jewelers. And yeah. God, I, like, I have a thousand bugs coming at me. Yeah. We spray this yard like every couple of weeks, and it's like awful. Yeah, exactly. That's it. It's about to come down. Yeah, it's raining right now. Okay, so bye. Have a great night. Tomorrow, Michael's Jewelers in Canton, starting at noon, we'll be there. And it's the Say Yes event. We'll try on some engagement rings. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> bye.